Uh, xin chào các bạn. Các bạn đang coi cái show Kevin Cooks trên đài CBN TV. Hôm nay Kevin với Marissa muốn giới thiệu với các bạn một cái món ăn thịt bò prime rib cho ngày lễ Thanksgiving. Ok, đây mình có cái prime rib. Cái uh, prime rib này khoảng 4 pound, 4 pound rưỡi á. You know, mình tính là khoảng 4 pound một cái xương sườn này á là phi được uh, khoảng 3-4 người. So nếu mình ăn 6 người mình mua cái cái size mà có hai cái xương uh, 8 người là hai ba cái xương or something around there. So this primary is about four pounds, Marissa. That, right? that feeds about you know two to three people. It's got one bone. If you want to feed a larger crowd, you're gonna need like two bones, three bones. Okay. All right. Wow. So this recipe is really special. You know, my family really likes this. Every Thanksgiving we make ham and turkey and prime rib, but the beef is the one that's always gone first. There's no leftovers. Yes, no All leftovers. Right. Okay, so what we want to do first is let's go ahead and let's slice our garlic up. Okay. So you want to make them into slivers, so don't crush it up. Th what this is going to do is you're going to put this into the top of the prime rib. Okay, this way the flavors will go in. Mình sẽ hai cái tỏi này á rất là mỏng. Rồi sau đó mình sẽ đâm lố trong thịt. Mình sẽ để cái tỏi vào cái lố á, cái mùi vị sẽ thấm vào cái miếng thịt đó. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we got our garlic. And now we got our beef. Okay. All right. So what we want to do first too is cut this away and cut cut the bones out. All right. Okay, so we're just cutting the bones? Well, we're cutting out so we can show the bones a little bit. Okay. So that way people know they're eating a nice prime rib. That's how it's always been done. That's what we're going to do on this show today, okay? Great. Oh, it makes it look nice. Makes it look nice. So and that's the main thing for Thanksgiving, Christmas, these holiday dinners. It doesn't just have to taste good, it has to look good too. Now, what do you look in a, when you're buying a prime rib, what do you look for to look for a really good prime rib? Well, you know, you really want it to look red and fresh, and you want it to make sure you have enough to feed everybody, because like I said, this one goes fast. Everyone loves the prime rib. So, this one's four pounds. I think between me and you, we'll probably be able to polish this off today. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So now that we got that all cut away, and you can see the bone. Yes. What I want you to do, Marissa, I want you to take this knife, and start poking holes in the top of this prime rib, okay? Just like this, watch. And then you're gonna pass me a little garlic. Okay. Just one piece? One little piece, okay? And then that hole we just made? We're gonna stuff it inside. We're gonna stuff it inside. This way, the garlic flavor is gonna go into the meat, all right? Go ahead and give that Ooh, a shot. Ooh, this smells so good already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just in random spots. Yeah, all on the top of that, all on top. Mình sẽ lấy con dao, mình sẽ đâm mấy cái lỗ ở đây. Mình lấy cái tỏi mà mình đã bầm hồi nãy á. Mình đã để vào cái lỗ. Như vậy á, cái mùi vị sẽ thấm vào thịt. Làm như vậy rất là ngon. Looks pretty good. Yeah. So this is where all the flavor comes in. This is where all the flavor is okay. at. And our family loves garlic, so the more the better. Yes. Can't go wrong. I'll help you out here. Some are hard to squeeze in here. <laughs> That's why when you cut it, you should cut it real small and, and sharp, and it'll go in nice and easy. So about how many pieces of garlic do you want in here? It just doesn't matter? Well, my family likes garlic, so as much as you can. Okay. Yeah. So this isn't a, such a hard recipe, but it's a real crowd pleaser. Everyone really likes it. Look at this big piece. <laughs> that might not fit. We'll try to re-slice that one. So, you know, we put it and we... Uh, Put the garlic all on top, so that way when we put it in the oven and roast it, it makes it nice and pretty. Uh, it makes it, you know, look spectacular too. With yeah. the bone sticking out and all the garlic roasted on top. Now do you have this, you have this every single Thanksgiving? We make it for Thanksgiving and Christmas, but we usually make, we have a big gathering, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for our family. So we have Thanksgiving ham and turkey. So mỗi năm, Kevin nung thịt bò này với cả tay với ham. Cho Thanksgiving, rồi uh, mỗi năm uh, gia đình của Kevin rất là thích cái thịt bò này, không còn leftover. Gà tây với ham, you know, có, có khi có leftover mà thịt bò này uh, không còn nữa. Uh. How's that looking? It looks good. Is that looking? That looks good. We got Ooh. plenty of garlic in there. All right, 
That looks good to me. One more and then we'll get going here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and season it. Okay. Okay. Mình sẽ ướp cái thịt bò này với muối, tiêu, với rosemary. So mình để nhiều, um, để nhiều muối, at least một cái muỗng uh, canh. So you need at least a, a tablespoon on each side, the top, the bottom on, on each side because it's a big piece of meat and you want it all to be flavorful, okay? Okay. And you want to definitely, all right, so don't forget the sides, don't forget the bottom. They need flavor too. Okay, are we gonna massage it in? We're gonna have to massage it all in. Okay. So we got salt and pepper on it so far. All right, Marissa, before we get that rosemary on, can you go ahead and massage that beef yes. for me, please? What kind of salt do you use? Does it matter? Some people use sea salt. Yeah, we use sea salt. We can use kosher salt. That's a good one too. Okay. That really makes a nice flavor for the beef. Okay, muy nice, la muy bien. Muy bien, go que vi. Lamb, choque te ponen on, huh? Looks good. That's looking good okay. there. Okay, now let's go ahead and put a little bit of rosemary on top of that. Okay. You want it on the other side too? On the other All side right. too. This looks good. Okay, la rosemary. Okay, now we have our beef ready, all marinated and seasoned up. We're going to put it on a roasting pan. We're going to preheat our oven to 200 degrees. Okay, 200 degrees. Okay. And then since this is four pounds, it's going to take about 45 minutes if you want it kind of medium rare. Okay. You're going to do it for 45 minutes per pound. So four pounds, that's about three hours. Three hours. Three okay. hours at 200, but this is the trick. That's going to get it nice and medium rare. And then at that point, you're going to turn it up as high as it'll go, 500 degrees, 500 degrees, and then get it nice and seared on the outside. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be nice and crispy on the outside and nice and juicy on the inside. Ooh, sounds good. All right. All right. Now, if your family, if some of people in your family like to eat it more well done, you know, in my family, some people like to eat it rare, some people like to eat it well done, you can cook it to medium rare, and then when you cut some slices for them, you can go ahead and just put it back in the oven, put it on a pan, and make it more well done for them. Not everyone likes it rare. Right, right. Okay. Okay, các bạn, mình sẽ vặn cái lò mình 200 độ. Rồi cái miếng thịt bò này á, mỗi pound mình sẽ nướng 45 phút. Thịt bò này á, miếng này á, là khoảng 4 pound mình sẽ nướng 3 tiếng. 3 tiếng cho 200 độ. Sau đó, cái ở trong nó sẽ chín, nó sẽ khoảng medium rare. Sau, uh, bon, sau 3 tiếng Rồi sau đó mình sẽ vặn lên 500 degrees Mình sẽ nướng cho ngoài, ở ngoài á, nó rất là giòn, rất là, rất là đẹp, rất là hấp dẫn Ok các bạn, sau 3 tiếng rồi á, mình sẽ take out cái miếng bò này Rồi mình sẽ vặn lên 500 degrees, ok? Alright Giờ yeah, là cái ở trong nó chín rồi, chấm, uh, ở trong á Nó sẽ medium rare rồi Rồi mình sẽ lấy ra Rồi mình vặn to lên, vặn 500 degrees á Mà khi mà cái lò nó preheat á, mình không muốn cho cái thịt bò nó chín quá, so mình lấy ra rồi mình sẽ để lại. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah. So it's almost done, but what we want to do is get that nice sear on the outside. Okay. So we're going to take the roast out. It's already this... been three hours at 200 degrees, so the inside is nice and juicy and medium rare. We're going to take it out, turn that oven up to 500. That way, when we put it back in, it's going to get a nice sear. However, you don't want to leave the beef in there because that's going to just overcook and over dry out the inside. So take it out, then put it up to 500 degrees. All right. So, Marissa, you want to put that aluminum foil over the, the beef to keep it warm? Yes, sure. Okay, kick back. Min lấy cái giấy nhôm á, min wrap cái miếng bò đó cho khi mà min chờ cái lò preheat á, cái thịt bò nó giữ ấm. Okay. And wrap it, please. Okay, nice and warm. Let's go ahead and preheat this oven as high as it'll go. Five. Five hundred. Mm -hmm. So now we'll wait a few minutes. This is important that we don't keep the beef in there, otherwise it'll overcook and dry out on the inside. Okay. Okay guys, now we have our oven preheated to 500 degrees. We had wrapped the beef, now it's time to unwrap it. Okay. And we're gonna put it in the oven so it can get that nice sear, that nice crust on the outside and make it really look spectacular. All right, let's okay. open it up. Get your and gloves. let's get it back in. 
hot? It's really hot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, mình sẽ nướng khoảng 10 phút thôi. And then we're just gonna roast it maybe about 10 minutes just until it gets that nice flavor and color on the outside. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's check back on it in a little bit. Okay, okay, man, we're now we're ready to take out the roast beef, okay? Wow, wow looks great. Wow, look at that. It's sizzling. It's nice and sizzling. Oh, and it looks beautiful. So that's why we put it back in to get that nice sear on the outside. All right, now we're just gonna transfer it to our nice little plate here, okay? There you have it, guys, a nice prime rib. Can't wait to dig in. Can't yes. wait to try it. And I can see that crisp on the outside. Looks really good. It smells delicious. Yeah, that last, you know, 500 degree run in the oven really makes everything nice and seared, nice and crispy on the outside, and gets the garlic nice and roasted too. So that gives you that nice roasted garlic flavor all throughout the beef. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and slice it up and see what we're, we're eating. Look at that steam rising up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Nice and rare, medium rare, perfect. So you can see it's nice and crispy on the outside, but it's perfect and juicy and medium rare. And like I said, you know, for your family members that like to eat it more well done, you can always cut them a slice, put it back in the oven or put it in a pan to make it more well done. Okay. All right, kick back. Thấy là ngoài trái mà giòn, mà trong rất là juicy, rất là ngon. Medium rare. Và nếu mình có người trong gia đình của mình mà thích ăn chín hơn á, mình cắt một một lát rồi mình để trong chảo, mình um, mình hấp lại hay là mình để vào lò làm cho nó chín chín thành well done cũng được. Okay. All right. Great. Let's cut us another little slice and then we'll dig in. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, Marissa, after you. Okay. Okay, I want to try the, the outside part. Mm -hmm. Do you like it more medium rare or more well done? I like personally? mine more medium rare. Okay, me too. Go ahead and try that. Okay. What do you oh, think? Oh, it's good. Delicious. It's juicy in the inside and crispy in the outside. Very good. Can you taste that garlic flavor? Yes, I can. Very flavorful. Right. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Kevin. This was a great meal. Yeah, great. Ngon quá ngon. Ngoài giòn. Mà chăm rất là juicy và rất là đậm đà tại mình ướp qua đêm. Oh, I forgot to mention, we want to season it and leave it to sit for eight hours, at least eight hours, preferably overnight. Khi mà mình ướp, mình phải ướp qua đêm, ít nhất là tám tiếng, mà khi mà mình ướp lâu như vậy, cái muối tiêu với cái tỏi nó sẽ thấm vào cái miếng thịt đó. Tại cái miếng thịt rất là bự, khoảng 4, 5, 6 pound, mình phải ướp qua đêm mới, nó mới thấm vào. So, at least overnight. Okay. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching our show. I hope you enjoy this dish with your family this holidays. And th happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays.